Good afternoon. It's officially afternoon. <laughs> it's 12.01 here. Monday, the 16th of July. I'm Rekka Nichols. This is my weekly podcast, Royal Treats. So glad to be with you and sharing my knowledge today. And we'll be touching on the throat chakra. I apologise for my absence last week. And for those who are on my course and, and, and listening to these podcasts as you go along and work your way through material, etc. I apologise. It's been one of those weeks. So I got myself a new phone. As you do, because you upgrade and you get the new things. And so my phone now doesn't have the the headphone jack. It just has the lightning cable. It's the iPhone 7. And so therefore there's an adapter that will convert. So that if you've got a a phone jack, a head jack that you need to plug in, you know, that converts it very nicely. It came with the phone. Unfortunately, it's a very tiny little bit of equipment and I've misplaced it. So I had to order a new one. I did try recording via my laptop, but I just wasn't really happy with the sound quality. And I don't know if you can relate. You know when you just you're so used to doing something in a particular way, you know, you just don't like change in some ways. <laughs> I think it was just what if it's working? Just stick to what's working. And I really do prefer to use my phone more than I use my laptop. I'm just one of them people. I prefer the touch screen. I think it works better for me. Actually, I find my, my laptop can kind of slow me down, especially my fingertips and my fingernails. Like, And so, yes, you just, you just stick to what you're good at and what you know. Anyway, moving swiftly on, I just thought I'd clear that up. We are going to be talking about when your throat chakra is closed and when your throat chakra is open and how to differentiate and how to know. I mean, because look, I'm educating you here about the chakras and I want you to take this knowledge on board so that you have awareness of yourself and your internal energy and so that you you know you can get this alignment that you can get this fullness in your life that you you know you you get to know yourself is the most important thing in this life so when your throat chakra is closed um you you be afraid to speak up and say what you want and how you feel say what you want baby get it <laughs> i always i always believe that if you're afraid to speak up and tell the world what you want you'll never have it And if you're afraid to express your feelings and tell people how you really feel, then they'll never know. You know, all all the stuff that goes on inside us that we just keep inside and that we keep buried deep within, like treasure. You know, it's all very well and good to, to keep some stuff to yourself. But you know what? At the end of the day... I think it's good to talk, darlings. I mean, that's why I'm here and I'm sharing with you, of course, because I, I'm, 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 mine very, <laughs> my throat chakra is very open. I mean, I'm sometimes very aware of the fact that I can be a bit overactive in that area as well. So I have to retreat and balance and let people be heard. That's another thing, obviously. Um, it's, you know, you can have the underactivity in a chakra, but you can also have the overactivity in a chakra. And that's just, as important to have that awareness of that the overactivity as well. So you might go along with others so you don't upset anyone. And I I know you might be a people pleaser. I think I spent a lot of my life being a people pleaser. Um, in so many ways, I would just go along with it because I thought, well, let's keep the peace. Let's not disturb things. Let's not upset the status quo. <laughs> you know, let's not ruffle anyone's feathers here. But actually, you know, our voices are very important, very powerful. And I think, you know, we have that right to claim it and to honour our voice in a, in a way that I feel very honoured for the being I am, more so than I've ever felt in my life, but mainly because of the work that I do now and the fact that I'm sharing and spreading awareness of um, energy and chakras and Reiki. I feel that... I'm stepping into a space where this is where I belong Um, and the world needs to know that I'm here to do this work and you know so therefore there is something inside of you that the world needs to hear that needs to be shown to the world and this is how we 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 express ourselves this is self-expression and it is key 
to um, leadership in many ways. You know, we, we all need to be able to lead people. And, and the only way we're able to lead people, and I create leaders, I don't create followers, I simply create leaders as, as far as I'm concerned when it comes to my coaching work or it comes to any of my courses that you do. Because at that point, when you get to a place of fullness and alignment, you will know who you are and you will know what you're here to do in this world. And then you will step forth very boldly, very brave, of, you know, a lot of bravery. And just just show up and just tell the world, here I am. This is what I'm here to do. This is my desire. This is what I want to do with the world. This is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want my life to mean. So if you're closed off, you might often get sore throats. That's obviously an issue with people who have that blockage there. So that's the physical manifestation of a blockage in your throat chakra. So if you constantly constantly get sore throats or maybe you have tonsillitis or if you, you kind of have, maybe you've had your tonsils out, it's often to do with a blockage. So maybe you're underactive or overactive. It could be either one really. Um, but that is something that you need to be aware of if you if that keeps coming up. So, you know, please do look into it further. Obviously me and my team are always here to help. You can always email me info at queenofmylife.london. Obviously, check out the website for further info at www.queenofmylife.london, where I post a lot of content in regards to the chakras and Reiki, as well as um, access to my online course. Um, yes, yeah, so if your throat chakra is open, <laughs> of course, you're very comfortable with speaking your truth. You're very um, confident in speaking your truth. You tr- your truth is ma- your truth matters. You know, you matter. So therefore, having your voice and being heard and experiencing others listening to you and, and um, taking time to listen and really listen and hear others um, because that's important. That's the balance. If you're too overactive and you're talking and no, you're not sitting back and listening to other people's opinions and giving them a chance, an opportunity to talk, then that's an overactivity, obviously. And and that's the thing. It's the right and wrong of the world. If if you're too overactive and you're kind of telling people, right, this is how it should be and you must listen to me and blah, 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 etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and you're not giving people opportunity to have their opinions, their views. I mean, life is perspective, it's simple. There is no right or wrong in this life. Everyone's entitled to experience this life how they choose it, how, choose, how they feel. Got my words, actually. Maybe I need another coffee. It is Monday. How they uh, see fit, obviously, to experience this life. Um, that is free will. That is what we're here to do. You know, we're very conditioned from a young age to say, this is it, this is how it should be, this is what you've got to do. But actually, you know, a lot of our creativity is crushed from a very young age. And obviously that's found in the sacral chakra and that's something that you need to explore if you're still very undecided about who you are and where you should be going with your with your life because you are a creative life force. And your only purpose on this planet is to create and that's to create... The, your life create everything that's in it everything that exists in this universe is based on creation and that's what man has done apart from ourselves and all that exists in nature um everything has been built by man so man woman god goddesses i mean that's what we are so this power in us to to go forth and really make this life mean something like I, I always say that I, I, I kind of keep going on and on about it and it's so true you know what you do today will be rippled throughout the rest of your life you know so your decisions your choices and it's all personal choice there's no you know there is there is, just, there is no wrong or right so I'm going to spend the next um, sort of four minutes talking a little bit about how you can um really connect your root chakra to your throat chakra so that we can enable you to walk your talk. All right, so the, the earth is here to support you in your needs. There's nothing that you can't achieve um, because you know the universe has got you, the earth is supplying all, all your food and you know your water and all, that, all our other needs that we need to, to survive as human beings. Um, 
and that's where money and abundance and everything else is stored as well so um if you're having particular issues in the root then you know it's something it's a very important work to be done in the root and that's the first part of the program is to do root work and establish yourself in the earth <laughs> it's it's a, it's astounding once you get into it so sit in a comfortable position arms and legs wide open we want free flowing energy Take three deep cleansing breaths. Yeah. And just keep breathing in. That's it. Keep clearing that energy. This technique can be used at any time you're feeling a little bit like you, you're you not aligned with your, your purpose or that you feel that you can't go forth with expression about, you know, why you're here to do the work you need to do. If some kind of level of confusion, if you're struggling to walk your talk, <laughs> it's all about walking your talk. So many people have so many great ideas, don't we, of what we want to be and where we want to go and what we want to do, but we, we rarely take the action. So this is this really powerful exercise. I want you to connect the two energies from, from your lower root, where your, your, your pelvic bone, your groin area, and I want you to take your hand on your throat, and then I want you to swap your hands up and down, kind of like a figure of eight um sensation sensation <laughs> a figure of eight movement um and just keep rotating it up and down and around and around and then just talk to your root and and talk to your throat and we want to be using words like i'm here to support you you can car- you can go through this life walking your talk always be walking your talk i'm here to support you which is the root so the root is always there to support you in the throat. These two powerful energies. Obviously, the root is a lower vibration and the, th- the throat is a v- more powerful energy because it's expression, it's communication, it's language, it's uh, how you write, how you talk. All these things are very, very important. The throat is going to teach the root how to walk your talk. Yes. Okay, so tell the root, tell the root, it's now being coached by the throat, yeah, the higher energy is coaching the lower energy, and then when we move on to the third eye next week, you'll understand that the third eye is supporting the sacral chakra in terms of creativity, so the, the, the chakras are always supporting each other, and this is why alignment is so important, you know, if you're out of balance in one chakra, it's likely that you're out of balance in another, and this is why we have to stay in the magic always, what I call it, staying in the magic, <laughs> Obviously, just use this technique whenever you can. You know, if you feel a bit out of sync and you feel like you're really not progressing forward in your life and you're not aligning with what, you, what you're here to do, yet again, it's just kind of syncing it all up and making sure that you're always pushing forward, moving forward and feeling completely and utterly supported in, um, in every area of your life. And actually, the support that you need is always there, ready, sh- ready, readily available and um, will show up for you when you show up and, and tell the world, tell the universe, this is who I am, this is what I'm here to do, this is who this is what I um this is what I want to be. You know? We can never get anywhere in this life when we're when we're just silent, when we're kind of just sitting very comfortably and just kind of like plodding along. We never really get fulfillment in that space. Um, and this is the very reason why I've designed the program and, and do the work I do, because I have I, I, I'm, I see it. I see it all the time. I see people playing it small. I see people just like sitting in a place of comfort or or just living paycheck to paycheck or not finding any um, substance within themselves or not have, finding much meaning to their lives, which obviously is a very much of a great shame, I think, to go through this life without really understanding what it is you are here to do because you are all here to do great great things well I shall be sharing much more with you in this week as well just kind of like catching up really because I feel like I missed out so much last week wishing you an absolutely amazing magical Monday and I look forward to speaking to you again soon you take care thanks
Bye-bye.